Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about Faraz Zion versus Matt Frivola. Faraz Zion, 15 and four, four and one his last five fights. The one last loss of his, this, this little streak he's been on in his last five, Terrence McKinney. So plus 105 from France, 27 years old, 6'1 with a 75 inch reach. Fighting Matt Favola, who's 11, 4, and 1, 3, and 2 in his last five fights. The last loss was Benoit St. Denis 10 months ago. Before that was Terrence McKinney three years ago. Minus 125, 34 years old. 5'9 with a 71 inch reach. 4 inch reach advance for Raz Zayam with a, what is that, 2, 3, 4 inches in height as well. Well, so I do think Mafravola will easily have the power in his hands advantage, but the straight shots from Varaz Zayam are very, very nice. You know, his last fight he fought, or two fights ago, he okay, maybe not three fights ago, three two years ago, he fought Michael Figlock and he put work, he did work on that man. I mean, he was beating him up, he was hitting him with some nice shots, his combinations looked nice. That's where I was like, all right, his stand is pretty good. He doesn't necessarily use it in the way that he should. Like, the Jai Harbor fight should have been much better than it was. The Claudio Paulis fight should have been better than it was, even though it was a split decision. So, again, power-wise, I think Favola has that. But I also think that the shots will be there for Zayam. I like Faraz Zayam a lot in this matchup. He's very well-rounded. You know, out of 15 fights... He has nine finishes. He does have four unanimous decisions and two split or majority decisions. He's been submitted three times. So I, I just, I don't necessarily see Matt Favola being the guy to do that. Um, a five and two in the UFC. So Matt Favola, 11, four and one. Like I said, 34, which is suspect. Um, seven finishes. He's also been KO'd three times. Um, and a lot of his, his, at least all of his TKO wins are in the first round. He has six finishes in the first two by sub, four by TKO, one sub in the second round, mainly a decision guy. In the UFC, he has three finishes, five, four, and one overall in the UFC. So again, he was head kicked by Benoit St. Denis. I really thought Favola could do some good work in that fight. Didn't necessarily do it. Beat uh, Drew Dober, finished him in the first. Beat Jernaldo Valdez in the first. Lost to McKinney, Armin Sayukian. And before that, lost to Paulo Reyes. A punch very quickly. One minute in round number one. Years ago, back in 2018. But, yeah. That was, that was, that was something. But, again, his submissions. Two in the first. Like I said, one in the second round. His submissions are... Arm triangle, Dana White's contender series, guillotine, and a triangle arm bar. So, again, I don't necessarily see him being the guy that's going to submit Zayam. I do think his takedown shots could be nice. I just think for Zayam is a little bit too well-rounded for uh, Matt Favola. I just think his stand-up's going to be good. His knees are going to be good. He might get taken down at times. But I just think his submission offense off of his back is going to be a little bit too much. I like Faraz Zayam by finish or by decision. As all, or by TKO or by decision. As always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. And let me know your pick and pick your, uh, put your picks in the comments below. And as always, peace.